It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by David Oxtoby. He is president of Pomona College, part of the Claremont Colleges in the Inland Empire region. A great set of institutions. And as a result, with five colleges in a row, you use a lot of oh, food and energy and water. And mm -hmm. you're a scientist yourself and you want to be sustainable. So what are you doing? Well, first of all, we're, our curriculum is changing a lot. We're right. putting a lot of emphasis on sustainability in our curriculum. Uh, we have an environmental analysis uh, major at Pomona College, students studying that, chemistry, physics, biology, all sorts of areas of, of sustainability and environmental issues. And you'll be teaching next semester, I Mr. President. Be. That's I, pretty remarkable to have the president teaching. Actually, I've taught the last several years. You have. I teach environmental chemistry. My course deals with issues of smog and air pollution, mm -hmm. ozone, and climate change. Climate change is the most interesting and exciting Topic. So as a general proposition, what can colleges, what can universities do to play a part in sustainable living, in trying to combat carbon emissions, climate change, whatever it may be? Well, a college or university can be a laboratory for mm. testing different approaches. Um, we, we're a, a place where students spend four years on campus. They can do experiments, let's right. say, in their dorms. Uh, we have some highly sustainable dorms, lead platinum, lead gold, uh, residence halls, where they can uh, try different techniques to save energy. And for example, in the last year, we reduced our energy usage by 8% uh, over the last year. 8% is a big number. In one that, year. Yeah, that, one that's year. a very big number. How did you do that? Well, it's a lot of different small things. Okay. Um, you, you think about uh, how well sealed your, your buildings are. Uh -huh. uh, you, you monitor energy consumption across all the buildings. Uh, in a residence hall, you really talk about um, what students do. Do they turn off the lights? Very simple sure. things like that. What about uh -huh. with regard to food? Because I think about uh -huh. when I went to college and the dorm food, and you know, we were very wasteful. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best way to say it. Yeah. Well, a very simple thing we did a few years ago, we got rid of trays, okay? So rather than getting a tray where you put five different plates with but many different dishes on them, different types of food, mm -hmm. you carry your plates uh, directly mm -hmm. yourself and you're thinking about how much you're eating. And frankly, the uh, food wastage went way down after we did that. Water. You know, 19, 20 year olds, they take long showers, they aren't really aware of what they're doing. And what about water usage, especially now, given where we are with our drought? Exactly. Uh, that's a big issue mm -hmm. for California. Mm -hmm. and, and if you look around the country, there are other areas where water is less significant for California. There's right. no question it's huge. Uh, so again, it's a mix of things. There's student uh, actions that can have small effects, such as shorter showers, right. as you have mentioned. Uh, but there are also things we can do on campus to recover the water that falls. Uh, uh, when we do have a big rainfall, Which we've, we've had we've recently, had, right? Exactly. You want to make sure it doesn't just run off into the street, into the gutter, into the sewer, back to the ocean. You want to get it into the um, the water reservoirs underneath Claremont, underneath the, the campus Literally, where we're located. The, the groundwater basin. Yeah. So we've developed some bioswales, which are trapping uh, uh, areas where the water is collected and gradually sifts really? down in uh, can, rather can than one just flowing. See it? I mean, can oh you yes, see? yeah. They're they're. There are locations where, uh, in a very wet time, you actually see the water standing there, but it seep, seeps into the, into the aquifer. Are your students, and when I say your Pomona and the other colleges as well, are they aware of the critical nature of these issues, water, energy, climate? Absolutely. They bring real commitments, excitement about these issues. Um, they're very politically involved. Mm -hmm. A number of students are getting involved nationally in these right. issues. They're trying to get a coalition of students across the country to be working on these issues and get legislators to take action. California is way ahead of the rest of the no country doubt. in this area. His name is David Oxtoby. He is president of the Pomona College, part of the Claremont Colleges in beautiful Claremont, California. If you want to learn more about Pomona, you can sign on to the website, of course, pomona.edu. My name is Brad Palmers. I want to thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.